guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Real Therapy. My name's Sean, I'm from the Harwich Sea Angling Association and today I'm joined by Paul from Harwich Frozen Baits and the young master behind the camera, Dylan. Well, guys. And today, hopefully, we're off to get some bass and some smooth out. Right, so what I'm doing now is I've just tied a little, uh, I think this is about half an ounce, something like that. Um, little jig head, I'm going to stick a little red pallet towel on and uh, give it a go see if there's any uh, nice angry bass out there. We're doing about 1.6 knots up this river, so just giving that a go. Yeah. See if we can try for a lovely uh, silver. Jellyfish that in the water. Go for a swim, dude. Jesus. I don't know if you can see that, they're literally everywhere. There's something on there, isn't there? Yeah. Fish horn! Something there. Please be a little pout. Oh, giving a little kick, something there. Is it? Yeah. Uh, 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 let go of the hook. Oh, is it <laughs> oh, oh yes. thank God for that. Oh. No, it didn't come off. Yeah? Tote bait. Brilliant tote bait. Really? That was yeah. my worst enemy. I hate eels. Oh, no. Oh, all right, next time you Fantastic can. Fantastic As long as you bait. unhook it. <laughs> I hate eels. Jellied. Alive, I just hate them. Oh, brilliant tote bait, tote bait apparently. Oh, that ain't a bad bite, that Sean, is it? What was that, a Sean mackerel? No, a ragworm. Ragworm? What size hook you got? Uh, 4 0. It'd be nice if it's a silver. That's a smoothie. Nice. First smoothie of the day. Uh, Do you wanna I... go around? Yeah. You got it, mate? Here we go. Nice one. Oh. You know what, I think that's what they call, is that a starry? That's a what? It's got spots all over it. Yeah. That's a starry. They're usually, they are. Usually star shapes, though. Very nice. Well, that's actually a PB for me, so. Is it? Nice. Happy one. days. Caught on real therapy. On ragworm. <laughs> on ragworm. That's Everything a... that everyone says they don't catch it on. Exactly. Right. Nice one. Well done. Straight off. I can have a guinness now. Shake <laughs> 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 over. Yeah, good, Nicola. How'd you get on, mate? Five smoothies, uh, best one about 18, and uh, 18 smoothies, yeah. Of course, uh, Roka and lots of doggies. Yeah, we, well, you obviously passed us, but we ain't doing very good at all. Hey. Oh. Just got escaped, but uh, plenty of spotties, but no smoothies, no, very poor. There you have it, guys. Nice little pouting. Beautiful. I would have pushed out sort of another sort of quarter mile or so. In amongst the jetties. Oh, well, best of luck, mate. Uh, we'll catch up with you another day. Trio out. Okay, egg and 
fiddling into a little fish. Not what have we got here? What's it feel like, then? Does it feel like, feel like dinner? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a bit of a fight, isn't it? Oh! Oh, lovely ass! Lovely ass! You know what? I see that squid and I thought it'd let go! <coughs> yeah! Oh, look at that! Oh, oh. That is a whopper! That is a fatty! Oh, look at the stomach! That's, that's an eater! Oh, that, that go nice with a salad, some new potatoes. Oh. <laughs> I'm keeping him. Oh, beautiful. Two-o hook. Look at that. Oh. Well done, well done. That is a prime bass. I'm not jealous at all. Lovely, look at that. <laughs> I'm not that is a stonker. What was that caught on, Dylan? Uh, that was caught on ragworm. Okay, Just cool. on a bottom two-o hook, so. Lovely, I'll put one of them on then. Lovely, nice and chunky. Well done, bud. Well Lovely. Done. Another fish on. I'm not too sure what it is. Oh, dang, an eel. Oh, no, I want an eel. Mm -hmm. Well, just sent this one back down again with a fresh rag on it, so. Oh, what's he got there? A little pout. A little pout in. Little pout. Oh, yes, please. yes, please. Nice. Another fish on. I'm not too sure what it is. It's kicking like a bass, but. Let's see. What a glorious day. Really is. Oh no, it's another little pout. Oh, lovely little pout. Oh, it's a lo that's a better pout than pole. That's not a pout then. Oh, that's a cod. That's a cod. That's a codlin. That's a codlin. That's a codlin. Shh. No way. No way. <laughs> that's a, no that's way. a codlin. Look at the beard. Yeah, no beard. way! That a yeah, that's a codling, guys. Yeah, he's got a unicorn. He's got a unicorn. Oh, I can't believe that. that's, that's my a spring unicorn. That is my first ever cod. Is it? Ever? Yeah. Well, that's more of a fish finger than a cod, but wow. it's still a cod. No way! That is a cod. Well done, bud. Just to prove it, there's the beard there. Look. Yeah, whisker. Got a whisker, yeah. So. Wow. I cannot believe that. I've had some. Uh, well done. Smashing fish today, so. You're going to make loads of people jealous there. I am. Can't believe that. Yeah. 400 pound will tell you where we caught it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Donate it to the, uh, the Angling Society. Don't tell anybody we're fishing at the well, Dylan. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's it. Brilliant. Well, done. well happy. Lovely. Well done, mate. A ray? A ray on. Let's have a big lump of seaweed. Can't go for the seaweed. Yeah, that doesn't look like better fish, does it? Pulling well. That's on a bluey. Bluey, yeah. Oh, it could well be a Raymond. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Raymond. Raymond. No, that's uh, not a Raymond. No, that's what's a doggy. that? Is that a doggy? It's either a doggy or a smoothie. No, that's. I think that's a doggy. I ain't doing anything. Yeah, it's a doggy. Nice. Time to wear the skin off the knuckles. To be fair, it's about time we see a dogfish today, though. Yeah. The fish held it off for long enough. Not a bad size one, though. Not bad. Ah. Right, let's just have a fight of it for a minute. Get back to you. Yeah, hey, well, so there you go. I'll have a little doggy. Nice. Take it back before it throws up anymore. Straight off. Lovely. Nice one. Hi guys. Well, um, we're in the kitchen now. Um, as you can see, didn't call that absolutely cracking bass that we're going to make a dish out of. Um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to try and do some sort of Asian inspired um, sea bass with some noodles. Just something a little bit different. You can try it at home if you manage to catch a, a 
a bass like Dylan, you know. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and. Um, well, actually, first of all, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll measure it. I know on the boat we said it was 46, didn't we? We did, yeah. So I've got a tape measure. Obviously, we've checked it, we know. But just to show you guys, it's just down to that mark there. So yeah, 46. 46. So that's perfectly legal. So it's a nice sized bass. It's quite chunky. So I'm going to descale the bass, um, obviously take his fins off just to make life easy for when we um, sort of cut it and prep it up. But first job is to remove the scales. So get yourself a little knife and you want to sort of just put it on the angle, um, probably not quite 45 degrees, but and all you're doing is, as you can see, just flicking out them scales. They will go everywhere. Um, I was going to do it in the garden, but I think it make a bit of a mess of the lawn and so I just have to tap one in a bit as well. So you just run your knife down and you'll let it all flick off. So um, as you can see, it's um, Dylan gutted it on the boat. Um, so that was all done out at sea, got rid of the worst of it. Okay, now it's nice and clean. Put it back on our board. I'm now going to remove the fins. Just using a pair of kitchen scissors. Be careful of these ones on top because they're like, they're like needles then. So just be a bit careful with that. But come out of the way, get rid of them makes life a bit easier. You don't need to do this, you could just go ahead and just fill it, but I prefer to just get everything out of the way and then... Tough one there. Okay, so it's all ready now to fill it and we'll go ahead and do just that. Okay, so if you put your knife in behind the head, you've, you've got a la the lateral line that runs down the back of the fish. So put your knife in there and just cut behind the, the gill. Again, I didn't take these ones off, but it doesn't really matter. We can get there. Okay. Go in, and you want to follow your knife down the back there. Just follow it through. Eventually, it'll come out the other side like that, and then just work nice and slowly. Try not to leave too much of the meat behind. And then we have a nice sea bass fillet. Absolutely lovely that. Nice and chunky. I'm going to put this to the side now because we don't need to do the um, the other side for a minute. So I'm just going to pop that in the sink. Um, and we'll just concentrate on obviously doing this dish. So I'm just going to trim it up. And I'm going to, obviously you can put these extra bits into different dishes. Do what you want to do. But I just want this middle section for what we want. Okay, so the other ingredients we've got today are some pre-packed noodles. Um, again, you can soak your own, do you know, do whatever you want to do really, but I just find it easier. They're already done, you've just got to flash fry them in the pan, and away you go. We've got some honey and some soy sauce. Just a normal honey, some dark soy. What we're going to do, we're going to make up our dressing first. So, we want a good spoonful of honey. That's about enough. And then pretty much the equivalent of soy sauce. Okay. Just mix that together. 
and it just makes a really nice dressing, nice and sweet. And on the noodles, that really does taste good. So I'll mix that together. So that's our dressing ready to go. Okay, so a few spring onions. Again, we only really need one, we'll just top and tail it, take off the outer layer. Cut it in half and then just sort of shred it. This is mainly just for decoration, but again, it adds a bit of flavour to the dish. Okay, and that's all we're going to need. Right, so we'll get cooking the sea bass. That's our first job. So we'll put on a put on a pan, nice size frying pan. Just get that heated up. Okay, I'm going to add a little splash of oil to the pan, not too much. What we want to try and do is make the skin quite crispy on the bass. So we'll get our little fillet of sea bass. And we'll just pop it in the pan. See that it's just starting to go brown on the edges down there. Let's spin it around. Okay, now we'll just decrease the heat. As you can see, it's starting to not smoke, but. I'm not going to season, normally I'd season fish, or I always season fish, but I'm not going to because the soy sauce obviously is salty, so for me um, that, that is the seasoning, you just don't need any more, uh, so I won't put any salt or, or pepper into this. So that's probably had a good couple of minutes I reckon, so what we'll do is now we'll flip that over, and as you can see we've got a nice crispiness to the skin and we'll just leave that for another couple of minutes that side and then we'll go ahead and do our noodles okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to leave the bass in the pan don't take it out, just leave it in there. It'll carry on slowly cooking, even though it's almost there. We've got another pan now, we'll get that on the heat. Just increase the heat again. We're just gonna fry our noodles. We get our egg noodles. Break them up a little bit. It's probably a little bit too much oil in there, so I'm just gonna pop some out. That's better. Okay. Don't want this to be greasy, do we? Okay, and pop the noodles in the pan. We've got a couple of little spatulas. Again, there's probably too much noodles, well, the reason there's way too many noodles there, isn't there? But we'll fry them off anyway. Let them break down. Heat the pan will break them up. As you can see, the sea bass is it's done now. It's nice and firm. The worst thing is to overcook fish. You just want a couple of minutes each side on a, on a nice little fillet like that, and that will be just what you need. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of soy sauce in the noodles as well, to give them a little bit of flavour. Just want a little splash. Just 
just enough to coat them. Don't put too much in because again they get a bit too salty, but I'm just gonna fry them a little bit and So the noodles are just starting to get a little bit crispy here and there. I think their meat will only take a couple of minutes, two or three minutes. Okay, and they're done. So, going to get our plate. I'm just going to grab a few of these noodles. I'll drop them everywhere. I think that'll probably be enough actually. I'm not going to go too many more. Then we get our sea bass. Just lift it off the pan. Place them on top, like that. And then We'll get our soy and honey, our glaze, and literally just fill that round. A little bit over the top. There we go, so that's that. And then we've got a few of our spring onions that we've done. We're just going to pop them on top as well. And there we have our Asian inspired sea bass with noodles and our honey and soy glaze. If you uh, catch your bass and you enjoy eating it, give this dish a try. And we both like it, don't we? we it's nice, it, yeah. yeah, so it's a nice way to eat it. So thanks for uh, watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and we'll see you on our next video. Thanks, guys.